What is up everyone back here with another video in today's video we are going to be going over Brute Bonnet a prehistoric version of Amoongus uh, Obviously Brute Bonnet is a pretty solid Pokemon in terms of its stat pool And we're going to be going over the different sets that I think it can be viable with if you guys enjoy this kind of content Please be sure to drop a like subscribe and support the channel I incredibly appreciate it as always make sure to check out the other links down below if you guys would like to support me without further ado Let's get into it so for the first Brute Bonnet set I wanted to go over, I wanted to go over the Brute Bonnet set that was utilizing Seed Bomb, Crunch, Spore, Protect, and Focus Sash. And this set's not the common Brute Bonnet spread you would necessarily expect, mostly because most people expect Rage Powder on it. But you can use utilize in different ways, and I think you can play to its strengths a bit better if you stop looking at it from the lens of like, oh, this thing is just there to perform what Amoongus does. Like, it can perform unique things because of its unique stat pool. And because it has stronger offenses and it has a better speed set than Amoongus does, if you have this thing in Tailwind, uh, like, and it has Adamant nature, it's doing a bunch of damage. And its speed, even if you were to go Adamant instead of Jolly here, would perfectly outspeed Dragapult in Tailwind, which means you outspeed basically the fastest one in the metagame with um, Spore, right? So pretty much you can just get a Tailwind behind this thing and go crazy with Spore. And you have the offenses with Seed Bomb and Crunch to just do a bunch of damage. So... I think that Brute Bonnet has a lot of potential, especially with this kind of set, on more offensive Tailwind teams. And I think that you can leverage it in a unique way that Amoongus cannot be, because Amoongus is just so passive. And realistically, even with the... Um you know, even with the full investment into speed and attack, it has such strong defenses and HP stat where this is still a pretty respectable bulk level to where you're going to be taking like enough hits decently. Um, as well, too, it's worth noting that uh, even though this is a, you know, a brute bonnet that is focused on speed, you know, you still have that utility with it being able to swap into opponent's attacks. The only difference is that you don't have a regenerator, which is why I think specking into this kind of set could be really beneficial for the right team. So for the second Brute Bonnet set, this is going to look a lot more similar to an Amoonga set that you would normally expect, except that it's Brute Bonnet. Now, it is utilizing Crunch, but you can potentially put Sucker Punch over Brute Bonnet if you guys would like to get the damage off first. It also is worth noting that you could potentially run a Relaxed Nature on this as well if you wanted to boost its defense, but not be max speed like this one is. Or not max speed, but like max speed IVs in terms of like being fast enough. Um, that's just kind of up to preference. Now, you'll notice that realistically these are the two main sets that brute bonnet would use you can potentially put protect over one of the two attacking moves but you would need rage powder or spore if you're trying to go for a support amunga set or support brute bonnet set rather on these uh kind of teams right and the main reasoning for that is just more so that you're able to get a lot more done with your um redirection and you can protect keep yourself alive um and you can kind of like be more of a nuisance to the opponent. This one is a lot less focused on actually dealing damage or being more proactive and more so being reactive and defensive. And it kind of plays more to the strengths of the bulk that this Pokemon has. Um, overall, I would say that the offensive Sash set, in my opinion, might have a bit more potential. But this, this set's actually pretty decent as well. Um, all things considered as well, it does actually still have a pretty decent attack stat with very little investment, so it could still be worthwhile for certain players to take advantage of. Alright, so for the end segment, I just figured I'd show you guys, like, right where it is. So, Brute Bonnet kind of spawns all over the map, but I'm right in front of Checkpoint 2, literally walked out the door, two Brute Bonnets here, and a Screamtail. Um, these, these guys are kind of the easiest ones to find out of the group, so, you know, not too much trouble, you guys should be able to get one pretty easily. If you guys enjoyed this kind of content, please be sure to let me know. Let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see as well. I do take your feedback into consideration. And I do even consider like any constructive criticism in the comments in the videos. And I incredibly appreciate it because it helps me make a better product for you guys to enjoy. Um, as well, too, uh, make sure to support me on Patreon if you guys would like to support me beyond YouTube. Make sure to check out my other socials, including Twitch, where I stream pretty much daily. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for the support. As always, I incredibly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.